Hey guys. So I'm extremely excited for today's video. What I'm posting today is very different from what I usually post, which is usually about food. But today is going to be something entirely different, which is unboxing. So I'll be unboxing my first vlogging camera, which is the Sony ZV-1, and I can't wait to get into it. Getting right to it. So when you open the box of the camera, the first few things that you'll see are the warranty card and a couple of manuals for the camera. So Sony offers you a one-year international warranty and a two-year local warranty on the product, which I think is great. So when you open the flap of the of the box, the first thing you will get is the camera out, and it is absolutely stunning. Everything I imagined it to be was exactly in that box. It's sleek, extremely easy to hold, and just everything I wanted the camera to be. So on the side, you'll see three. Three slots. One is for an HDMI, for a detachable external mic, and for the charging spot. Along with that, on the top, there's a small slot and a cover that is removable for the dead kitten, which I'm going to try out next. So attaching the dead kitten is fairly simple. You just remove that small cover on the top of the camera and uh, attach the dead kitten right in that same slot. So it's very easy to put on, but I take a few seconds because it's my first time. And that's exactly what it's like when it's attached, and I absolutely love the purpose of it. So the fact that it eliminates all your external noise is excellent. So the next thing I'm going to put on is the battery. So the bottom of the camera, there's a small lock and hatch where you put in the battery, and uh, that's literally it. There is really nothing complicated in this part of the video, and that's about it. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I got myself a 128 GB SanDisk memory card for the camera, which is also placed in the exact same place where the battery was. So you just unlock that slot. Right behind the battery slot is this little area where you put in the memory card. That's also really easy to do. And there's a small little click, and that's it. You're done. Your memory card and battery are both in. So the camera comes with these three main accessories, and with all put in, I'm going to turn the camera on for the first time, and I am so excited. There it turns on, and it is extremely beautiful. So easy to hold, not heavy weight at all. And uh, I'm trying out the screen flip, which is something I wanted to see ever since I got the camera. And it's very smooth, very easy to use, uh, great for selfies. So when you're out on your own, solo traveling, trekking, this is an amazing feature for the camera. So along with the camera, what I did get myself also is the Sony grip. So this is supposed to work as a remote and a tripod for the camera. So it's like a mini little tripod, and you'll see when I open it how, like how it works with the camera, which is again something that I, it was a great purchase, something I really needed for the camera. So the tripod basically came packed with a cover on its own, which I thought was really cool uh, to carry it out when you're going around and stuff. So uh, along with it being a tripod, it's also basically a remote for the camera. So these buttons they help you kind of access the camera without touching it when required. So that's your photo, that's for your video, and that's a lock button, which is awesome because when you don't want to use the camera, you don't press a button by mistake. So to put in the battery for the tripod, you basically lift both the legs of the tripod, and at the bottom there's a one and two. So you need to just press those two down in that same order, remove that hatch, and place the battery in there to have it functional. So to fix the tripod to the camera, the bottom of the camera has a small little uh, slot where you put on the screw from the tripod and just rotate the latch. So it fits onto the camera, and you will feel the grip tighten, which is excellent because once you do have it fitted on, the camera and the tripod are so unbelievably stable. You can literally run through a forest, and you wouldn't feel like the camera would fall. On the side of the tripod, there's also a little button there that helps you align the positioning of the camera, so you can move it up to whatever requirement you need, forward, backward, however. And there's my vlogging setup ready, and I honestly just couldn't be happier. So pairing the tripod to the camera basically requires you to go to the menu option, hit network, and go to the second page. Over there, you go down to the Bluetooth remote control function and click on, and the Bluetooth setting and hit pairing. So what you do then is take your tripod and press down the photo and the zoom up button. So you press that for about seven seconds until the screen on the camera changes to pair. Once it does change to pair, you hit OK, and there your tripod and your camera are connected. So we're testing it to see, and let's try and see. 
right so that concludes the unboxing video and what i'm going to do next is uh, list out a couple of things that i've bought myself for the camera so that includes like uh, backup batteries which i believe are required for long journeys and longer durations of being out using the camera along with a couple of cases and a cage for the camera so that's going to be my next video on unboxing those and seeing how it works with the camera until then thanks for watching and i hope this influenced your decision in some way